Good morning, welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. Now today, um, after several weeks of promising, I'm doing a video on my GTX 1070 mining rig. So let's jump straight over and have a look at the rig itself. So here's the machine hashing away here. I've got four cards on this uh, open rig. They are the Gigabyte 1070 uh, Mini. And the reason I bought the Mini uh, was because I bought two originally and they were supposed to be going into my desktop and I ran them in there for a while before moving them over to an open rig. So that's why um, I ended up with the Gigabyte uh, Mini as opposed to full size cards with two fans. Um, here's the motherboard. So it's a, a motherboard out of one of my very early Litecoin miner machines. It's running a Semprom processor. And here is the reason I wanted to show you this is that the Risers are powered by uh, SATA cables, which is not a good idea. So I'm actually going to switch them over to these Molex cables in uh, a couple of minutes. So I'm going to jump over in a sec, uh, grab all the cables for that. And I'm going to power down the machine and and wire it with the new uh, Molex to six pin connectors. You can just see here, this is a Corsair uh, CX750M. Again, this was out of one of my early Litecoin mining machines. And here are the cards. So the as I mentioned before, it's the Gigabyte. Uh, GTX 1070 and it's the mini they are quite compact as you could see before and uh, they do work perfectly in a case and then just at the bottom here this is my 1080 Ti and I'm going to do a video um, on this uh, soon that's actually in my desktop machine now so here's the SATA um, to six pin cables I removed and you can see here the Molex uh, twin Molex to six pin connectors I replaced them with and these are rated to a higher ampage so uh, they should be safer for uh, running the rig and then at the front you can see here I'm running on simple mining OS and it just runs from a USB stick so no need for a hard drive and if we just have a look inside you can see the two uh, sticks of four gig of RAM Hi, so we've had a look at the rig and as I mentioned in the video there, I'm running this rig on Simple Mining OS um, and you can get the OS here from simplemining.net. Now I've found it to be um, pretty decent. There's three different versions. You can download a version for the older AMD R series cards, so that's like the 280, 290Xs. And then there's a an image for the newer cards, so that's the RX series cards, so um, RX 480s, 580s, stuff like that. And then there's an NVIDIA um, uh, image as well and that's the one that I'm running here but um, you can get to it simplemining.net if you want to have a look at it and find out a little bit more about it uh, but if we just log in now quickly I can show you the rig running so the nice thing about this is that you can once it's up and running you can leave it unattended and you can log in and do all your management of the rig through the interface here so you can do it from anywhere so you can see here this is uh, the rig here so it's my 1070 rig it's running um, we're actually mining Zencash uh, on the supernova pool and it's using the EWBF um, miner so in the rig list here um, you can add different kind of rigs you can add all your rigs and then in rig groups this is where you add um, basically the different miners for each one so if you click on add a new group you can choose the miner uh, that you want you can see here there's columns for the R series RX series and Nvidia uh, uh, OS's and you can literally just click uh, whichever miner you want so you will want here um, I don't know Claymore version 10.6 you can then edit this uh, configuration file here to put your wallet addresses and stuff like that add the group and then you can assign that to um, one of your miners any of your miners but if we just jump back to the the rig list you can see I've only got one miner uh, running at the moment this is it uh, here which is a 1070 and then here you can see this is if we scroll over here this is the temperatures of the GPUs and the fan speeds and then in this next one this is the output basically from the mining program so the first console here uh, the first button here rather is a console if we click on that it opens up and we can see what um, we're mining at so you can see here these are the four GPUs so it's GPU 0, 1, 2 and 3 and it gives you your souls a second here um, which is looking pretty healthy at the moment and then there's an extra tab so there's an overclocking tab here now I've been running at a 200 core um, uh, increase so this is um, offsets from the standard so a 200 uh, increase in core 100 increase in memory and I'm limiting the power to 120 watts um, uh, I've left the temperature to what it was, so by default, 70 degree target with 30% minimum fan speed. Um, as they're in the loft at the moment, and it's the middle of winter here, and um, they're running pretty cool. The fans um, really aren't running um, much at all. But um, you can adjust these, and as you can see here, the first uh, GPU, 
it it was playing up a little bit running at 200 so i just brought that back down to 150 and it's run stably for the last couple of weeks since that i might need to readdress these kind of figures uh um these variables in the future to tweak the overclocking so if anybody has any suggestions you feel free to um pop them in the comments below but um the other thing you can do is reload the mining program so if you've adjusted things you can reload the mining program or if a gpu freezes something like that and you can also reboot the rig remotely from here as well but um that's it for simple mine i'm not going to do um, a big detailed uh, review of that if you're interested in that i can do one uh, maybe in the future but it's um it's a great little um uh, software it's currently i think you have to pay two dollars per rig uh, per month um there's a deposit fee here you can see this little tab here you can just send them either uh, bitcoin ethereum um or what's that uh, zcash there um so i deposited a little bit i put ten dollars in which will run for another you know what's that six or seven months so um yeah it's, it's been a, a pretty decent little kind of os it's nice to be able to run just off a usb stick uh to have all the miners already in there and it, you know the ability to uh check your machines and um and monitoring them and tweak them remotely is really nice you don't need to go to the machine um you know have a, a keyboard and monitor a mouse or anything like that to sort them out but uh anyway that's it for um this machine it's been hashing away um on zen cash is what i'm kind of mining it's been uh, pretty decent as you can see there i'm getting 70 around 1700 souls a second for the four car so they're running at over 400 probably about 420 um 425 on average each but um it's been pretty stable like that it's been running for until i you know swatched out the cables today it's been running like that for about three weeks or so with with no issues at all um anyway that's it for this video i hope that was um useful uh for you i will do a video on the results from my uh, 1080 ti as well soon because i've got that running my desktop which is maybe a configuration that a lot of people kind of have they might have a gaming machine or something like that so i want to run you through how i've set that up for mining um, I'm obviously I'm not running simple mining OS on that that's running Windows 10 because it's my uh, my sort of main desktop machine uh, but I'll, I'll run you through kind of how I've configured that and what I'm mining with that as well in a later video but uh, have a great day and hopefully I will see you on the next video bye bye